at home with Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about dual monitor setup. Yes, people, I finally got my hands on two 27 inch monitors by Acer and I'm super, super excited to be figuring out is a dual monitor setup better than an ultra wide monitor. So I usually review 34 inch ultra wide monitors, but I really wanted to figure out, can I put two Acer monitors together and make the best ultra wide on the planet? This thing is going to be absolutely amazing. It's 27 inches plus 27 inches diagonally, making a beast of a monitor. In this video, we're going to be figuring out, can you just simply buy two monitors with the existing stands, put them together and make an ultra wide, or do you have to go out and buy a crazy mounting stand that has hydraulics and all kinds of other crazy stuff in there? So in this video, we're gonna be figuring out all of that and more. We're gonna put the ultra wide head to head with the dual monitor, and we're gonna figure out which one is perfect for you. Cause I've always wondered, is the ultra wide the best of the best? or is a dual monitor better for a lot of different reasons? So we're gonna figure out all that and more in this video. All right, let's get into this Acer Nitro et al. series. These are WQHD 180 hertz panels. When I say these, I say that because I have two of them. So we're gonna be making a dual monitor setup. Okay, this is my current setup right here. So I'm probably gonna to have to move my PC over there and then of course pull that panel out from there and maybe do a few more adjustments for the stands to sit on this desk. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this put in and see how well it works. There we go, those are the two panels right there. They don't fit exactly under my shelf right there, but I am gonna get a stand or a mount uh, to basically hold the two of them because I'm not able to get them to line up. So I, I just assumed that monitors would be able to line up basically straight up and down with each other. I could possibly do a, a little bit more like turning. Also right now, as far as I can tell, I only have a uh, single panel and a single panel. I am able to move the mouse across, so I do have two monitors in one, but as far as one giant monitor goes, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research to figure that out. Okay, there we go. I was able to go into my graphic settings and turn on spanning, I believe it's what it's called. So now I literally have this game on two monitors. That's 47 inches diagonal, I believe. That is amazing, really simple. I just went into the GeForce graphics card and was able to get it set up. And I'm not even too mad about that little gap right there. I'm just blown away by how easily I got this set up as a dual monitor. Okay, this is probably the best that I'm gonna get with these stands. I was actually able to get them fully to touch all the way down and all the way back up, but they're not gonna last like that. I think if I bump it a little bit, they're going to uh, possibly pop out of that position, but it is doable, so you can just by the stand, line them up and you're good to go, but I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm actually going to put a stand in the back and I'm gonna bolt these to it so they'll be floating and I won't have two stands at the bottom down there. So I think that's gonna make it a lot easier for productivity. So let's go ahead and get those stands off, pop in the new one. Okay, there we go. I got the stand mounted in the back. It's not the best stand out there because I can't get my monitors to go any further back. So they're basically sticking out pretty far from the wall. <laughs> but this is the best I can get. Now I have all of this desk real estate opened up again, which is really good and the panels don't look terrible. So there you go, that is the panels on a stand and you have to do a lot of work just to get this to stay lined up, uh, even with these, these, this mount that's back there. Okay, let's talk about gaming on this bad boy right here. So the first thing you notice with any sort of game like this, where it's kind of like a first person shooter, your cursor or your main area is basically right in between these two panels. So if you had a smaller bezel in between, you would have a much, much better experience than I am right now. So this is definitely one of those things where you do get used to it, but it definitely is kind of off-putting. And as you can see, you almost have one and a half um, cursors right there, one and a half targets. So it is one of those things where I guess if you're playing like a racing game, this would be totally fine. But anything where you have 
you know, a main place to shoot right in the middle, it's going to be very off-putting and really, really strange. Um, but like I said, it, you do get used to it. It just takes a minute. <laughs> But yeah, so the immersion is absolutely incredible though. It is really top notch, really next level. Um, but if I'm gonna compare this to an ultra wide, I'm gonna say an ultra wide is gonna be so much better, mainly for this part right here. You're not gonna have, you know, this whole thing. But for the price that you're paying for this size, um, I think we figured out this is like 47 inches or something. Uh, in diagonal so gaming on this you're going to get immersed if you're doing a you know racing game or some other game where you don't need to worry about the center of the screen you're going to be good to go um, and then also what i noticed was portal one so this is portal two portal one did not work on here at all it was way it wouldn't go full screen basically um but yeah so this is definitely a super immersion really really cool i'm going to give gameplay on this not as good as an ultra wide i would actually rather have an ultra wide than this thing but you know like i said for the price you're paying this is unreal okay i definitely had to do a lot of work to get this thing set up the way that it is right now it was not easy um, i had to do a bunch of different things where i was adjusting the display and i finally got the display to be 5120 by 1440. So that is my monitor resolution right now. The scale is 100%, um, and it wasn't easy. I, I, I had to mess around with a bunch of different things. I had to go into my graphics card, and that's where I really was able to switch it over to get it to actually work. Um, and right now I have one giant monitor right here, but there's a lot of reasons why I actually kind of want just two separate monitors. So an extension basically instead of one giant one. And the main reason is I'll go ahead and load up a YouTube video. I'll show you. Okay, so here we go. This is one of my YouTube videos. So I'm gonna enlarge this to the max and there you go. You get this very, very strange, slightly off center sort of look with these giant, giant bezels on either side. And it really makes you not want to view it like this at all. There's only a couple times where I can view it like this. So you're basically never able to get true full screen with any sort of YouTube videos. Um, and what I ended up doing was this a lot. I would just put it into theater mode just like that. And then I would have this whole second panel over here to do something completely different. Um, but yeah, it was definitely one of those things where I at times just wanted this whole thing to go into full screen mode since I was doing stuff over here as well, separate. So there's definitely times where I'm like, okay, I may just switch it back to where it's not one giant screen. So dual monitors, it's not perfect. It's definitely not a perfect marriage. Okay, let's talk about multitasking on a dual monitor setup. And I have to say that it's not much better than a 34 inch ultra wide. I feel like I can get the same amount of panels on a regular 34 ultra wide than this. And this is actually a little bit more tricky. You have to do a little bit more work just to get these all lined up. This of course is Windows 10. So I'm not able to just snap everything like in Windows 11 where you can have multiple, multiple cards and they all snap perfectly on. Windows 10 doesn't wanna do that. They just wanna give you two cards, one on each panel. Um, but this is multitasking right here. So if you really need to do it, you can do it. Cool thing is if you want to just go into one panel, you can just go over to the side just like that. And then you can open up your next browser and you can shoot it over to the side like that. And so it really understands the dual panel. Okay, now we've basically maxed out the UFO test right here. It's running as fast as it possibly can. So we have 180 FPS. We have 90 FPS, we have 45 FPS, we have 23 FPS, 11 FPS, and 5.6 FPS at the very bottom right there. So this will give you a good understanding of how 
the dual monitors are functioning. Okay, I've been using these two panels for long enough that I think I have a full understanding of ultra wide versus dual panel. And I'm just gonna flat out say that you should just buy an ultra wide monitor. Dual panels are better in a small way. I'm talking very small way. Another thing is if you don't get the right stand in the back, you're gonna have this really weird thing happen where you're not able to get your monitors exactly lined up. Mine are actually off center right now, and that's the only way I could get them to go far enough back because the stand arms hit the wall. So the, it's it's not a perfect marriage. It's not perfect at all. Um, and if you are someone who's super picky about the way your monitors look and how perfect they're lined up, you're never gonna get them perfect. I'll tell you that right now. Um, especially with these monitors, the Acer, they definitely do not like to line up side by side. I know there are better monitors for dual monitor where they have smaller bezels and they line up a little bit better, but I'm just gonna say, if you're thinking about dual monitor versus ultra wide, go with the ultra wide 100%. Um, I'm actually looking at a 40, uh, five inch or 47 inch ultra wide right now that I'm going to review next. So if you're not subscribed, definitely get subscribed because that's going to be really crazy. And these monitors really showed me that I can handle a lot more on my desk than I had originally thought. So this has definitely been a great experiment, um, but I am not going to be a dual monitor person. Um, if I find the right monitors, I may do this again and see if I can't get it perfect and make it feel basically like I have just one giant monitor. But as of right now, I'm going to say I'm going back to ultra wide and uh, this was fun, but not my daily driver. All right, there you go. That is the dual monitor set up by Acer. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely clearly click that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.